Okay, so I just received the string swing um, SW5RL. Um, this is the big one. This has got. Um, this is gonna hold five or six um, guitars on my wall, which is pretty crazy. Obviously, I'm doing most of this sped up and you know super whoa, high, high speed, hyper speed. What's it called when it's fast motion? Whatever. Obviously, I wasn't really planning on talking, but I realized as I got into this, um, the 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 directions are actually so easy, so simple, that it makes it a little tough. My wife's been helping me, and she's like, five months pregnant? Six months pregnant. It's like 10 o'clock at night, she's helping me. A few minutes ago, I totally, I whacked her in the elbow with this 15 pound. <laughs> it, was, it, it, it is. It was not funny. Tomorrow is gonna be super bruised, and it just, I'm sorry. Anyways, um, She's helping me. I saw another video where a guy was saying this would be great with two people. I can't imagine doing this alone. This would be tough. So we're gonna go back into um, hyper speed. <laughs> hyper speed. What is it? Shoot. Double speed. I don't know. Either way, we're gonna go back into that. And if I need to jump back over and talk some more, then I'll do it. But so let's get it hung up. Let's get going. Time lapse, that's it, it's gonna be a time lapse. It's gonna be a really fast, really easy time lapse. I didn't think of this, my wife thought of this, she's the best, this is why she's a child bearer and I'm not. So let's, let's hang this up in a time lapse, here we go. So it's clearly day two now, and that may seem like a bit of a surprise or may confuse you as to why this had to carry over into the next day, but let me tell you what happened when I was um, assembling this kind of in the final stages last night. So when I got over to the far side over here, it's probably easier to do this, the far side over here, when I was putting in the top bolt, I felt that I missed the, um, the wall stud. I could just, it went right in and never grabbed anything and it just kept spinning when it was at the very end of the thread. I knew that was a bad thing because obviously it wasn't gonna hold on to anything. And when I started putting the guitars up, I just kind of thought, I'll just get past it, I'll be fine, don't worry about it. Well, when I put the guitars up and I actually put them on this side, I felt it pull out of the wall because it wasn't you know holding on anything but the, the plaster on the outside. So I took the screw out of the 
um, the wall and the guitar mount because I just I wasn't gonna you know break a bunch of really expensive guitars out of laziness and I went and got some of these so this is called a toggle bolt now when I was talking to the folks I think it was Gabe super helpful really cool good really cool dude when I was talking to Gabe at string swing he was saying that as long as I went into a stud it, you know like a toggle bolt wasn't necessary and he's a hundred percent right what happened in this scenario has nothing to do with the rack mount, the process, none of it. I just, I missed it and I was just too worried about the guitars falling off the wall and it pulling out because I didn't do a better job in making sure it was mounted well. Anyways, I mean it's done. I'm gonna go ahead and finish hanging up the guitars, putting them up and then show you what the final product looks like, but this was unbelievably easy. So, as you can see, way better, way cleaner. If you're looking for a way to clean up tons of space, make your music room, your office, whatever, look better um, with guitars on the wall racked out of the way, like this is absolutely it.